Welcome to the short guide on using the LangGuardian demo. Once you've logged on to the demo, you're presented with a reporting menu here on the left hand side, and you've got dashboards here towards the middle. If you've logged on and if you're from the educational sector, maybe from a university or maybe from a college, you might want to check out the user behavior or the educational sector dashboards. So to select the dashboard, you just click on the tab and that becomes visible now here on the, on the GUI. The elements here, which can be customized, so if you download the LangGuardian, you can customize these dashboards in your environment. You can move things around. And more importantly, when you see something on the dashboard that looks unusual, you can click on the total. So anywhere where you see these blue links, those, those links allow you to drill down to get further information. Like if you want to find out who's on RapidShare, just click on the total and drill down. If you've logged on to the demo, and maybe you've got audit and compliance issues that you need to address, you might want to check out the SQL Server Audit Dashboard or the Windows File Shares Dashboard. Again, you just click on the dashboard and it becomes visible now on the screen. Finally, if you've logged on here, if you've got any network issues, if you want to find out what's happening on your network, if you want to find out what's happening on your WAN connections, who's using the servers, if you're interested in finding out what, what exactly is running on my network, check out the Network and Security Dashboard here where we have information here about the types of traffic on the network, who are the top users, type of events being triggered, and the graphs here. So just watch the graphs. When you see some unusual activity, just move your mouse over, click, and you can drill down. Towards the left-hand side of our dashboard, we've got a reporting menu. And some good ones to check out will be if we go to bandwidth, if you go to the IP traffic distribution report, you're presented here towards the middle of your screen with some filters. Now, for the demo, we just leave those alone. Um, in a live system, you can check, select whatever time period you want. But for this demo, just leave it in the last 24 hours, run the report, and you get some detail as to what's happening on this network. So here we have types of applications running, and you can click and drill down here. Or what you can also do when you run a report, just click the user button here to find out, well, okay, all of this traffic is moving around my network. Well, what users are responsible for this? So here we get a breakdown then of the users responsible. So just watch out for the user button at the top of the reports if you want to get user information. Another good report to check out on our demo is go to security events by signature. So don't worry about you know, trying to remember what reports to run. Just go through each category here and just pick the very first report. It's always the most powerful. It's the way the GUI is designed. So I'm going to select the, just leave it on the last 24 hours, run the report, and I get some detail as to what type of events have been triggered on my network. Like here we have somebody net scan, somebody scanning my network, spam, we've got peer to peer. So to find out who's responsible for this, if you go over towards the right hand side and do some drill down. So if you want to find out here, for example, who's breaking into the SQL servers, hit the little plus option and find out who's the source of the problem. So when you're drilling down through the demo, just go towards the right hand side of the page where you will get drill down options. So here's the machines responsible. Finally, we'd recommend you check out our modules, especially if you've got any compliance, maybe you've got an auditing type requirements, maybe you want to find out what's of inventory of files have been moved around the network, go to our modules here. So a good one to check out maybe is the Windows File Shares module. Go to search by file name. And you could pop in here in the, uh, in the filters, you could put in mp3 or .xls, maybe just run it as is, and you get to find out what files have been moved around the network. So here we get a list of files that been moved around, and we can drill down and find out, well, who's accessing the product specification document and we can get some detail. So check out here in Windows File Shares, either search by user or search by file name. The other module we recommend you check out in here would be the SQL Server module. So click on that, maybe select top database, and then just run the report as is. And again, remember, go towards the right-hand side of the report and drill down on the queries. So it's a pretty good general rule of thumb. If you want to get further information, go to the right-hand side and drill down to get further information as to what's happening. So in this case here, I want to find out, what I found out what clients are connecting to the databases and what queries they're running. So each module in here allows you to run reports, get further information as to what's happening on your network.
if during while you're while you're running this you think this is really interesting we have a download option here towards the top right hand side this allows you to download an ISO or download a virtual machine which you can install on your network and you can have these reports and these dashboards up and running on your network in less than one hour. So thanks very much and please feel free now to check out our online demo at www.networktechnologies.com.